This video is sponsored by Exothermic Technologies and this is a pulse fire, small lightweight flamethrower that can certainly shoot a flame out there. This can even be attached to the bottom of a handguard that has a pick rail on there. All you have to do is open the valve, turn it on, and then hit this button here and it'll shoot out flame. Let's check it out. It even adds more distance when you add diesel to the gasoline. Easy to use, easy to operate. I've become addicted to it. Check them out at exothermic.tech. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to revisit the Taurus G3 Tactical. I have called this Taurus's best semi-auto polymer frame handgun to date. And I stand by that. I think what they did with this model is really nice. They made them optic ready. And I have a new optic on here. I want to talk about that. It's made by Siley. But they made a 4.5 inch threaded barrel and they Cerakoted it, made suppressor height sights with the rear and the front. They Cerakoted the slide, they call that Patriot Brown and use a flat dark earth frame. I think it looks cool and I think because the popularity of the Taurus G3 was substantial, they decided to make a G3 tactical. And the MSRP on this is $590. However, I'm seeing it all over the place for less than $450. What do you get? Well, you get this awesome case. They, they included this heavy nylon case. It's, it's like really nice. One of the nicest cases for a handgun that I've seen. 217 round magazine. A very nice trigger. And that's one of the things that made people come to the G3 series is the trigger. It is the third generation. It's a bit wider. Taurus says that it has a six pound trigger pull. I'm measuring it closer to five with a short reset and restrike capability. Already mentioned 4.5 inch barrel that is threaded, easy disassemble, pick rail, and everything that it offers, including how cool it looks, makes it a very nice handgun. From Taurus and to, to pick something like this up for under 450 I think is a pretty good deal. So what optic am I running? This is a Siley Wolf Pro. I have heard of Siley. I've talked to people who have owned Siley and they say they make really nice optics and it checks all the boxes. Primarily 3 MOA dot which I'm okay with a 2 or, or higher because of intensity settings but it is shake awake in the housing seems to be a very strong metal and another box that it checks is that the battery compartment is right there you don't have to take the optic off 1632 battery and so far this is my second time at the range with it it is holding zero and it has a nice firm mount it it's it's a nice optic and i'm uh, pretty happy with it so far and based on what other people have said in the highly rec high recommendations that I've gotten from people who own them say that's a nice optic nice now I've had this from its launch and I have watched the gun store price go down quite a bit it disassembles just like a Glock. All you do is move those tabs down and you can see it has dual recoil spring and the, the thread cap would need to come off to do a full disassemble. But there's a look at the frame. Nice overall package. I've been happy with it from the beginning. I said that is a real nice handgun. And I've always wanted to get an optic. Decided to go with this Wolf Pro pretty happy with it so far. The G3 Tactical comes with four optic plates. I currently have the RMR optic plate on there because the Wolf Pro is an RMR. 
footprint. So it works out really well. Check out the lack of recoil with the G3 Tactical. Nice handgun. The G3 series, as I mentioned, has become very popular when they made the G3 Tactical. They made it so that you could put a suppressor on there, you could put an optic on there, you could utilize those tall sights if you like flat dark earth and a more of a brown slide Cerakote. It's all, it's all right here. Nice trigger, restrike, everything else, no thumb safety. It's been working for me. And so I wanted to come out and revisit it, especially because I put an optic on there. I've been wanting to do that from the onset. Now that I did, I had to bring the camera out as well and share it with you guys. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.